everyone. I'm Joey Close, and I'm with Kojiko TV here, live on location from Canada's largest rib fest. I'm with uh, Jesse here, one of the 18 ribbers. Uh, it's going to be competing for the best spot. So can you tell us a little bit about what you've got going on here? Where are you guys originally from as well? We're originally from London, Ontario. We're one of the only Canadian teams. Uh, we've been doing it since 1999. My parents originally started. Uh, we're also the only ones that don't smoke our ribs. They're marinated in uh, tomato and cranberry juice for 48 hours, and then we slow cook them, and we bring them on the barbecue and finish them off. Okay, and can you share a little tree, any trade secrets with us today? Uh, one of the secret ingredients, I guess, in the sauce is oregano straight from Greece, where my dad's from. So. Okay. Great. Yeah. Perfect. And did you want to show us a little bit about how you go about sure. uh, putting together your ribs here? So once they're put in the oven, we just take them out and put them on the grill to give them a nice finish from the apple and cherry wood. We like to give it the finishing touches off the smoke. Okay. And uh, what can people get here today? Can they come get a whole rack or they got to get a little bit by little bit? Yeah, you can order a full, half, third. We also have combos as well. Okay. And what else are you serving here today with it? What do you find that goes good with ribs? We have ribs, chicken, and pulled pork. Okay, perfect. And. Uh, Thanks so much for joining us, and uh, we Thank hope you. to see you here. Um, there's lots of other uh, vendors here to choose from, uh, lots of ribs to try, so that's what I'm going to go do now with the crew, and we'll be here till 5 o'clock, so we hope to see you soon. Hi everyone, I'm Joey Close and I'm with Kojiko TV here live at Canada's largest rib fest and uh, being the 22nd annual year that this rib fest has been put into place, they've added some interesting aspects to it. Uh, James here is going to tell us a little bit about the Mission Possible Escape Room. So hi James, how are you doing today? Good, thanks. Good. Can you tell us a little bit about what an escape room actually is? So an escape room is a live interactive game that a group of people go in and they work together to solve puzzles and riddles to get out of the situation they've been put in. And perfect. And can you tell us a little bit about this one? It looks really interesting here, and the design of the walls is really captivating. Yeah, this one's a good one. So this one's Immunity Quest, and you're actually stranded on a deserted island, and you need to solve all the clues, find the God of Immunity Mask, and get off safely. And sorry, the God of Immunity Mask, is that the end kind of prize, and that's how they escape once they find that? That is what they're looking for, but they have to solve all the clues and work together as a team to try to get out. Perfect. Now, can we take a little peek in here just to kind of show sure. viewers at home what's going on so so can you describe kind of the design in here a little bit or so this is the first of its kind in Canada and it's the only one available and we are available for rent to come to your weddings your backyard parties and any other festivals that you might have and we can uh, show up with this and make your event that much better perfect well great well we'll be here till September 4th you can come down and check it out we'll see you uh, till five o'clock today at Ribfest. Hi everyone, I'm Joey Close and I am here at Canada's largest rib fest with Kojiko TV and we're live on location and I'm here with Divin, Alina, Alexia, Selena, Gia, Uma. Perfect and uh, what's been the highlight of today? What's brought you down here? Uh, well, I'm just here spending the day with my family. Um, I was actually very surprised and pleased to see a vegan food truck here. Uh, I am vegetarian, so um, yeah, it was it was very pleasing to see um, the variety here today. Great, and any uh, any fun things you guys got to do? Um, we got to watch the water and like the waves. They were so big that it almost splashed us. <laughs> Well, perfect. Well, thanks so much, guys. Hope you enjoy the rest of the weekend. And uh, we are. this will be the last time we'll be reporting for, for you today. We'll be here another hour, though, if you do want to stop by and say hello. Uh, we'll also be here tomorrow from 12 to 5. Uh, my colleague Scott Kavazny will be here reporting, so you can stop by and say hello. Uh, the festival goes till Monday, so September 4th, and Finger 11 will be closing that. So you want to make sure to come by, check out all the rivers that are here. There's 19 in total. They're all completely competing uh, for the best ribs and uh, also it's for a good cause a lot of the money being donated here they hope to raise about two hundred thousand uh, dollars that will go to local charities and abroad thanks so much for joining me today and uh, we'll hope to see you over the weekend all right scott kabasny here at the rotary you couldn't find a girl to do this okay well listen Come just, on, bro. there's no girls who are uh, prettier than you here okay so i think i did pretty I'm good for myself here <laughs> are you i'm shaking are you having a good time though yeah i guess so i know like you know i never thought i'd come here for the rib fest like this you know that's good this thing motors eh? it does we're going pretty fast 
Um, are you having a fun time? That's what I really want to know. I guess so. I thought I was coming for ribs. Look at my freaking. It's shake. a. I'm shaking. It's a little. We're a little tight squeeze here, but uh, it's good. It's good. So what other midway things do you have here? <laughs> midway stuff. Well, let's take a look. What we got? We got. Uh, all kinds of stuff. I don't know what they're called. You I don't stop know. playing footsies with me at any time. <laughs> uh, any one, time. Once we're done, then I will. <laughs> Thanks, Tony. Um, so we got some popcorn over there. Maybe we should get some snow cones after. What do you think? Ah, come on. This is not a date, Scott. <laughs> well, it feels like one. We're sitting side by side in the Ferris wheel. How's that not a date? You know what I mean? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Here we go. All right, back up to the top again. This thing, it, this is the fastest Ferris wheel I think I've ever been on in my life. I know. Yep, you're right. You're right. Well, we're having a good time. We're going to see what else is going on after. Uh, you got about 10 seconds left, so speed this up. All right, well, you know what? We're going to be here until 5, so uh, definitely make sure you come check us out. Thanks, guys. I can't believe I'm here. And we're here at the Burlington Rib Fest. Scott has traded his microphone to me. He's ready. He's going to take care of some ribs from Pistol Pete's. Go at it, kid. Brittany, come on in over here. This is Brittany from Pistol Pete's. Uh, tell me a little bit about uh, Pistol Pete's and uh, the ribs that you have here. Pistol Pete's is uh, from Oklahoma City, so it's a pleasure to be here in Ontario. Uh, basically, we've got two things that make our ribs the best. You got, got them in your hand here, right? I do. We have our world-famous rub and our barbecue sauce. Let's have a look at that. There we go. Show them off a little bit what uh, what makes them so special um well it's all about the key little ingredients which i can't give away or they won't be very special anymore um and the way we cook them low and slow that's really one of the big keys to it now Brittany, let's look over here now we'll bring in aliona our entertainment uh, anchor over here how's scott doing let's let's give us some assistance here aliona go for it um now tell me the, the, how do you cook them uh we cook them in a very large smoker uh, for about three and a half to four hours, low and slow. We use cherry wood, or sometimes we use a little bit of apple wood. How are they, Scott? Are they good? Oh, yep, no, yeah. that's what I thought. Aliona, how are they? Bomb diggity. <laughs> so now, your travel big from the U.S. Uh, we got to go, but uh, thanks for coming in, and we're at the Rip Fest till 5. All right, thank you. Scott Cavazzi here for Kojiko TV. We're just checking out the music here at the Rotary Burlington Rib Fest. And there's been some amazing acts going on. They're happening all weekend long. We've got uh, the Natural Lights coming up. Stinky and the Hot Rods, Practically Hip. Uh, Finger 11 is actually going to be headlining tomorrow night. So if you're a fan of them, make sure you come out and check that out. It's going to be a lot of fun. We have just had a blast here this whole time. Of course, we've had the three Fs, fun, food, and festivities. And uh, I'm gonna leave it up to uh, an amazing act going on right here. Mike Stevenson and friends, take it away. Thanks for joining us here at Rib Fest.